Hi, I'm Don Bodan from SimpleLibraryReview.com. Today we're checking out Evolution Rubber Bridge by Orange Tree Samples. I just love these Evolution guitar engine instruments that Orange Tree Samples has been creating. This is actually a guitar where they've replaced the bridge with a rubber bridge. It gives a really muted sound. This kind of guitar has been making an appearance in indie rock and pop music lately. For this instrument, they recorded a century-old parlor guitar that's been converted into a rubber bridge guitar and fitted with a Tokyo-style gold foil pickup. Evolution Rubber Bridge downloads as 3.5 gigabytes, losslessly compressed from 6.9 gigabytes, sampled from a guitar with a rubber bridge. It's got three dynamics with two pickup directions and two round robins. Articulations include sustains, palm mutes, mutes, natural harmonics, special effects, string slaps, mutes, body hits, and then there's legato samples for slides, hammer-ons, and pull-offs. It's a contact player instrument, so it's compatible with the full or free version of contact, and normally sells for $179 from Orange Tree Samples. At the time of putting this together, it was on sale for $139. I'll include a link to Orange Tree Samples below. Now for the purposes of today's video review, we're going to play through some of the included MIDI samples to listen to the guitar in action first. And I might comment along the way about things I'm hearing or the way that they're programmed some of the stuff here with these demos. Then we'll listen to some of my favorite presets that have been included with this guitar and uh, maybe talk about some commentary here and critique about what we think about the instruments. Let's go ahead and dive into the first demo I have loaded up. This one's called Twilight. As you can hear just with this first one, this rubber bridge gives it a very folky sound. It sounds a lot like an instrument from South America to my ears, but it also kind of sounds like it has some new possibilities, especially for those scoring for film. And with the additional effects that they've got loaded up in the top here, It really takes on that uh, that place in the rhythm section that the guitar can be used for. Go ahead and check out uh, some of the next demo that they've included with the instrument. Thank you. 
One thing in this uh, Boots demo that I really love is the use of these upper sound effects keys. And using it in context gives it that little bit of natural bitness just to add realism to the piece. And with this one, you can really see the instrument's tone section in action. It gives you the really kind of classic kind of sound for this acoustic guitar running through some simulations for EQ, compressor. The um, spring verb has a nice bit to it. And then that uh, cab simulation gives it a real nice warmth. Another note here on this Twilight demo is the way they've got our uh, palm mute articulation as a key switch. Down here it's in red. You can see the way they've set it up here to A sharp zero. So you trigger that just to get that extra bit of detail. Yeah, so that gives me a little bit of an idea listening through those demos, what the instrument's all about, I think. But a lot of times as I flip through Orange Tree Samples presets, I'm often surprised by how far the uh, included tone controls, chord and strumming uh, all can affect the instrument. So let's dive in a little bit. We'll just listen to some of these presets here that I think really stand out. <laughs> This one here with these palm mutes in the lower velocity range programmed right now, it's a very much becomes a rhythmic instrument. We could even get rid of this, um, turn off the sustains completely. And then we just get these very muted. And that could really act as a backbone, as a cue with that kind of instrument there. Yeah, and here we're using some of the effects there. Take a look over at the tone settings. See, we've got our tremolo set up, as well as EQ compression, and our amp simulation. And cab, really turning this into some kind of a, a freaky uh, electric guitar sound. The other thing I noticed playing through the instrument is just how smoothly and easy it is to play those hammer-on and pull-offs with the legato transitions. And that little bit of uh, finger movement that you can hear sliding over the strings. 
that's just automatically incorporated into that instrument. With uh, something like this, I think it might be kind of cool to go ahead and check out the strum feature and some of the presets here. Yeah, so this is a very typical of that kind of sound that I was talking about where it kind of reflects back to a South American instrument. Presets. show off the different abilities of the strumming engine. And of course, the tempo sinks to your DAW. I had it at 150. I'm going to go down to 100. I have no idea what's going to happen here. harmonics has a very distinctive tone we're running through some amp simulation i think this would be pretty cool for scoring with Yeah, a little bit of delay goes a long way in creating something inspiring right away. Now, if you're not familiar with Orange Tree Samples Instruments, uh, I'll include a link to um, contributor Sean Chasen's last review of the release of the Evolution series. He went into depth talking about the instruments, panels, um, how you can control different things with the setup, microphone positions, pick positions, uh, physical modeling. There's so many capabilities the engine offers, and the developer continues to adapt and add new ones as they release instruments and going back and updating all of their old libraries. I'm a big fan of what Orange Tree Samples continues to put out and this Evolution a Rubber Bridge, it's kind of a unusual instrument that I think it's gonna have a really cool place in some scoring for me. Now, what about you? Is this something you'd be using in your work? Are you an Orange Tree Samples fan of the Evolution engine? And if so, what are you using it for? Please comment below, let me know. If you stuck around to the end, please give the video a thumbs up, like the video, and feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. 